It's due to the nature of SCP-006, the most effective termination method is incineration. Does this thing breed superhumans? SCP-006 is the fountain of youth, and it's also the lowest number of SCP we ever reacted to outside of the zero ones. Well, the mini zero ones that we had. So the fountain of youth is it's been a, it's a tale that's been told over and over and over again, many different variations. I've never heard of it in the SCP universe, but the SCP universe has a way of explaining everything that has some sort of anomalous properties that we've heard about in childhood stories and, and myth and legend and all of this stuff. And it's always been something that has been sought out by people because the only thing that you can't get back is time. I think about a lot what I would have changed as I've grown up. And the answer is not too much. I'm pretty happy about the way I came out. I think I did waste some time in terms of success, but I've gained a lot of experience and that is going to shape the life that I live throughout the rest of it, which is kind of interesting to think of. It wouldn't have came out like this if anything would have been different. So maybe it's a good thing that we kind of have some regrets because it makes us strive to do better moving forward, you know? So this ought to be a very interesting SCP. It's by SCP Illustrated, so it's gonna contain some great art and an awesome narrator. Make sure to head on over to their channel, guys, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and if you like reaction videos on SCP content and some horror content too, make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Let's get into the SCP. Object class safe. The following data release has been authorized by the following council members and administration staff. Okay. SCP-006 is safe. Researcher Glyph successfully extracted a sample of SCP-006 and was escorted by armed guard to Site-6 for testing. Okay. During testing, the microscopic slide with a sample of SCP-006 came loose and landed on Researcher Glyph's skin. There was a bare patch visible between his glove and lab coat. As per protocol, researcher Cliff was confined, studied, and later incinerated. Wow! This is to go on file that additional safety precautions will be put in place to prevent further mishaps. He was incinerated because a drop from a slide landed on his exposed skin? Dude, what's this thing do? Under direct orders of the founder, access is limited to those with overseer clearance. Overseer clearance granted. Description. SCP-006 is a very small spring located 60 kilometers west of Astrakhan. Foundation Command was aware of its existence since the 19th century, but were unable to secure it until 1991 due to political reasons. All right. On the spot of the spring, a chemical factory has been constructed as a disguise, with the majority of laborers under Foundation and or Russian control. The liquid emitted from the spring has been chemically identified as simple mineral water in 1902, but has the unusual property of health. Ingesting the liquid produces the following properties in human beings. The ability to regenerate DNA damaged by sufficient duplication. Wow. Heightened excitement of cellular duplication. Vastly improved abilities in the repair of damaged tissue. And a frightening increase in the effectiveness of the human immune system. Right. Upon testing the liquid on animal subjects, hostile bacteria and viral agents were destroyed immediately. So, in tales... The Fountain of Youth made you younger. I imagine that it has a lot of healing properties too, but that's never really been discussed in most of the tales. It's all about youth or reversing the aging process, so to speak. Many reptiles and birds were unaffected, while higher primates experienced the same benefits as humans. Okay. Special Containment Procedures Whereas the nature of SCP-006 does not warrant any extensive containment, a certain level of secrecy is necessary regarding the object's existence and properties for obvious reasons. Sure. The following procedures are required not for personal safety, but to deny or hide knowledge of SCP-006's effects from the personnel who interact with it. Ah. Procedure 1. All personnel interacting with SCP-006 in any physical way are required to wear modified Class 6 B and C suits. Before personnel are allowed to perform procedures, they must be briefed with material SCP-006-B or SCP-006-C. SCP-006-A briefing is the correct one, 
and is restricted to only those with O5 clearance. Ah, okay. To assure personnel are wearing suits properly, they are to be submerged into a pool of water. Any air bubbles spotted signify a leak in the suit. Procedure 2. Procedures with SCP-006 are to be carried out under extreme surveillance. In case of contact with SCP-006, the commander in charge will announce Procedure 006-1112, which the personnel have been briefed to believe to mean high toxicity is present, and they must evacuate. All right, so what I can see from here is the fact that they just don't want this to be uncovered like they don't want the 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 information to be there you know there's a lot of secret information in the scp foundation the fact that this is safe and it has regenerative properties would make it sought after by everyone and if the location or the information surrounding this project would get out into the general public then it would be chaos to actually seize it and it's the SCP Foundation's job to keep that secret. Now, the fact that the O5s are the only ones that know this, hmm, <laughs> you think they'd be bathing in that stuff, right? Making sure they never die so they can keep the secret and be immortal? Crazy. Procedure free. Any procedure in which liquid is acquired from SCP-006 must be approved by 305 level personnel. Wow. The liquid is to be transferred in a quad sealant container and under armed guard. Mm -hmm. Procedure 4. If at any time personnel come into contact with SCP-006 or liquid from SCP-006, they are to be confined and terminated after sufficient studies are done. So they do test. Due to the nature of SCP-006, the most effective termination method is incineration. Because they can't die, maybe, after they actually come in contact with it because they have regenerative properties after that? Does this thing breed superhumans? That's crazy to think about. What if contact with the fountain actually makes it so hard to kill you that you become a threat? I never even thought about that. You know, in the superhero movies, regeneration is a reoccurring power that a lot of superheroes have you know they're able to heal quickly like the wolverine is one of them they actually bathed the wolverine in acid in order to take away all of his tissue so that they can do the surgery on his um his hands in order to put those spikes that he uses right and he just healed it back it's crazy to think that if you come into contact with this water you become a threat simply because it would be hard to kill you. How powerful is that, man? Wow, you could bet these O5s are chilling in that water, though. You better believe they drinking it. <laughs> they probably got a little fountain in their office, suckers. <laughs> It's a great, great SCP, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to check out SCP Illustrated right there. Link's going to be in the description as well. And make sure to check these videos out that I reacted to from him a while back. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ujit signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.